Whether you're preparing to run your first 5k or you're training hard for your next marathon, it's impossible not to be inspired by just how easy professional runners make running look. While running unimaginably fast, they seem to make it look almost effortless. If you break down the training regimes of most elite runners, there are a few important things that they all do to get the most out of their training that normal runners like you and I would also benefit from. Focus on these five simple things in your own training and you will definitely become a stronger, faster runner as a result. Number one, vary your training paces. So many of the runners I've coached in the past have come to me saying that they only have one pace that they tend to stick at for all of their runs. Perhaps they go a little bit faster when doing tempo workouts and a little bit slower when doing their long runs, but there's not really much difference. Honestly, this is so common and such a big problem for your running. If this sounds like you, it's definitely something to work on. Elite runners know that to get the most from your training and to look after your body and to ultimately get faster, you need to polarize your training, essentially making your easy runs very easy and your hard sessions very hard. There should be little to no middle ground. Let's say you're running three, four, or maybe five times per week. For most runners, they'd be best off running all but one of those runs at a very easy pace to the extent that you could hold a conversation while you run. If you're running at a low enough intensity that you have enough control of your breathing to be able to talk easily, you're most likely running in your aerobic training zone, which is right where we need to be to build endurance. Not only is your aerobic endurance the aspect of fitness that will allow you to run faster for longer, but the more gentle pace you're running at will allow your body to recover more quickly between sessions, meaning that you'll be ready to push yourself harder when it comes to your weekly higher intensity speed session. Turning up to these speed sessions with less fatigue in your legs will allow you to get more quality work done during the workout and take more benefit from each weekly speed session. So just remember the old coaching saying, make your easy runs easy and your hard runs hard. Number two, train consistently. The next thing that elite runners tend to do far better than most normal runners is that they train consistently from week to week and month to month. Lots of us can look back through Strava and see that our weekly mileage goes up and down significantly from one week to the next with periods of frequent focused training followed by weeks where life just gets in the way somehow and we compromise by letting training slip slightly. Of course, we all run for different reasons and have different goals, not to mention different challenges to negotiate in daily life that sometimes stand between us and the day's run. But professional runners know that consistency is the key to improving your running. There's no single magic running workout that will improve your fitness overnight. Your fitness will develop fastest as a result of consistent training. Number three, prioritize recovery. You might think that professional runners get to train all the time as they don't have the same work pressures that normal runners have to deal with. But that's not really the case, unless you class recovery as training. And trust me, many elite runners do take their recovery regime as seriously as the workouts themselves. The difference between a pro runner and a keen amateur is that the pro runner doesn't have to finish a run then immediately rush off to work. They can do all the stretching, refueling, massage and even sleeping that they need to do to be fully recovered and ready for the next session when the time comes. Although you and I aren't pro runners, if we remember that the physical and physiological adaptations that occur in response to our training and make us fitter happen while we recover between workouts, it should be very clear why we need to prioritise recovery as best we can during our busy schedules. Oh, and the last note on recovery before I move on, two of the biggest potential wins for most of us where we can improve our recovery is by improving our hydration and quality of sleep. That's where I start optimizing recovery with most of my runners. Number four, keep on top of strength and conditioning. Ever wondered how professional runners manage to run such high weekly mileage, sometimes over 100 miles per week, whilst staying injury free? Well, it's got a lot to do with all the factors I've already mentioned, but the missing piece of the puzzle is that they are all disciplined about doing their regular strength and conditioning workouts. Elite runners know that not only do exercises like single leg squats, lunges and side planks make them stronger, more powerful runners, but they also help to prevent running injuries by making their bodies more resilient to the harsh demands of running. 
As well as building strength in all the major muscle groups of the legs, like the quads, the hamstrings, the glutes, the calves, it's also important to work on single leg balance and control exercises to improve stability around the hips, ankle, and of course the core. This will help to protect more vulnerable areas like your knees. I'll leave a link in the description to a video which will give you some fresh ideas for strength and conditioning exercises to help you with your running. Number five, focus on your running technique. Watching elite runners can sometimes give you the impression that running is natural and effortless for them. And don't get me wrong, natural ability is always a factor, but don't be fooled into thinking that they don't have to also think about their running form or work on improving their technique. In fact, if you watch a training session, many pro runners spend a lot of time doing various drills to reinforce the aspects of proper running form that they want to work on. Not only that, but when fatigue kicks in, that's when they really have to focus on maintaining good running form just to give them that extra edge. We see it in every single elite marathon race, for example. It's not the runner who runs the absolute fastest who wins, it's the runner who slows down the least in the final six miles. Maintaining good form and not letting your technique fall apart as you get tired is an important thing to work on so you can continue running efficiently as fatigue kicks in. Click the video on screen right now and I'll show you a bunch of powerful techniques that elite runners use to run faster that you can use too.